right, so I'm going to start doing <coughs> Wyckoff analysis uh, using point and figure as well. This is, uh, I mean, you can use bar charts, point and figure charts, Renko charts, mm, you know, wave charts. Wave charts also, for some reason, they make things simpler. You know, without all the bars, you just take out the bars and just leave the wave. It really is. Um, I like it. Anyway, so this is gold. I'm going to go over the metals. So on the high time frame, we see that, you know, it was in a downtrend. Then it rallied. and it's still in that rally. And you have that high volume. Where is this high volume coming from? I think a lot of these dudes try to short this area, this right here, off of this area, and the buyers absorbed them and went higher. On the lower time frame, we have rallies. Uh, this was the range, you know, after this breakout here, after the breakout. Rally, pull back, rally, pull back. This potentially is a spring, but a lot of folks will see this as a 135 or ABC or something like that. Eh, it's only one, you know, lower and then reverses. And you know, so some folks will think of this as the up thrust and all that. But the idea is, you know, for, look at the trend first. And you'd see that it was just a test of the breakdown, breakout. And then it tested, it retested, and it rallied. And now we're in a pretty good, pretty good rally, you know. And this level right here, draw that level, held. One test, two test, three test, go. So, draw the lines. Alright, and I think this is the breakout bar right here. The high volume bar against the resistance area with follow through. So, in my world, let's go to. Uh, oh, this was. Uh, there you go. This up here. There's a lot of volume there on the um, r rally. You know, look at that. And just a breakout with good volume, follow through. So in this area, you should have a pretty good opportunity for a retest that if the market goes, wants to go higher, it really can just test this and go higher. So I like it. Now let's take a look at the point figure and see what you know what is uh, what's the market telling us so this is gold you see the base the initial base is about 15 off of 12 75 I think it was 12 75 50 so 12 75 50 one do the count One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The stepping stone count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, the stepping stone count is confirming the uh, the initial count. So you you probably. It's very high. Uh, this is 18, uh, 13, 20 area, and I know people are looking at it. Traders are looking at it. It might just go to thirteen eighteen and pull back, you know, or it may go to thirteen twenty. Whoever ca who cares? Like it, you know. The point is, it's bullish, and that's the initial price objective. The second price objective has some serious. Has, you know, it's twenty three, from. Uh, from 80, 87.50 I think, around, around 87, 87, 
two, so you got count 23 bar, 23 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Shit, I lost my count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-one, two, three. That's in the thirteen fifties, like thirteen fifty-five, thirteen fifty-five-ish. All right. Now I'm not saying it's gonna go there. I have no clue what it's gonna do, but. If 1320 get take, gets taken out, look at around 1350, 1355 area. Okay, that's the second base, uh, not the second base, but whatever term it is. You know, that's the count off of that particular level. So if initially 1320, after that around 1350, and this is in an uptrend now. Okay, the. You, 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 it's very clear this was diverging and all that, and then it, it uh, went positive. So, you don't, you, you know, if you're going to short, make sure the opportunities, um, you know, don't don't short like after multiple waves down. You know, you might be able to short and get a corrective move, um, something like that. But I don't really see any short opportunities on this at all. This is in a rally mode. And this is a pullback opportunity. This is also a pullback opportunity in the higher time frames as well. So it really is no point in shorting. Think of uh, long and gold to 13.20 and then after that 13.50. All right, next is the other markets you want to take a look at are platinum and silver. Even if you don't trade gold, these are the correlated markets. Platinum used to have a tendency to lead gold. And then I think it was silver that had a tendency to lead gold. One of them leads gold. I don't know which one, but they they will give you insight into uh, what's going on. So platinum, as you can see, clearly on the higher time frame is going higher, and the obvious, you know, was this see the heavy volume someone was defending this level 910 910 platinum was being defended and there was a minor spring right after the second defend like high volume there meant there was a transfer of uh, sh contracts from one side to another and again one side to another then there was a spring now it's rallying and um, This is lo this looks like a strong market too. I think uh, and this should this look like. Well, let's see. On the oh my, this is really something. Mm. Very strong. I mean, no question. Where are the pullbacks? There was a pullback opportunity. Uh, right there. Rally, test, retest, heavy volume, reversal. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, you know, it's very clear that this is a very bullish market. What are the price objectives of uh, platinum? That's what we want to go to. Stand deleting, delete the well, price objectives. This is a very clean base. Uh, this is the price objective right here. So say around 20 bars from the nine. Oh no, not this. Nine fifteen. 
or 915 or 916, something like that. So let's see what, what it is. 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Around 975. And that's the initial target. I, I like this base. I like the rally. Clearly, you can see the breakouts, right? This was a false breakout, which is good. You know, when false breakout get reversed, chances are it's like some type of spring or whatever. So this is this qualifies for that for the um, spring maneuver. So around 975 on platinum, this is also bullish. So it's really good to see that after these breakouts, you know, this type of behavior flagging with no supply and going higher. So this market also very bullish. Next market is a silver market. So we go to silver. And again, you see the same strength coming in. You know, um, so we go to silver, and that actually did give a buy signal, but it didn't didn't pull back because it's too strong. Um, this is a very strong market. You know, it's definitely a buy in this area. You have high volume, high volume. These are all tests. This is the concept of failure. Failed right here. Attempted to go down, failed, went up. Attempted to go down, failed, went up. Attempted to go down. You see, the CM, one of the techniques that's used is... You don't know if the market is more receptive to the upside or downside. So the one way you test the market is by selling, 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 like a large quantity. And it's not like, you know, oh, I'm selling a share, two share. No, this is large quantity selling to see if how price reacts. If price is unable to go lower, that means someone's buying as someone as you're selling. So that tells the person to go to the other, other side because someone is supporting the market. So the same thing ho goes here. So, you know, they sell a lot, sell a lot, cannot go down because it's being supported, goes up. Sell a lot, cannot, be go, cannot go down, go, price goes up. Sell a lot, bag holding, sell a lot, bag holding. Sell a lot here, someone who's holding the bag, a.k.a. accumulation, you know, it goes higher. So, silver market, um... This the right one. It's not the right market. This can't be the right market. <sighs> anyway, um, I think this software is a bug in the software. Hmm. So this goes here, 24. Effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, two, three, four. Right about there. See where the stepping stone count is projecting. Uh, there somewhere on the 
unless I take it off of here, it'll go higher. Look how strong these rallies are. You see this rally and consolidation and rally. That's that's really good. You know, and this was the false breakdown that failed. And this breakout here it looks like it could have been early accumulation or early buying. You know, like right here. Um, Sometimes this happens. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. Anyway. Hmm. Let me see if the line works. So that breakout right there, right? That was just buying. Then it, this was the shakedown maneuver right over here. This right here is the shakedown or shakeout. So this was the initial buying. This 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 is I don't know type three spring or something. So then it goes up. So this cleared everybody who's you know longing or caught shorts. Then they had to cover, which caused buying, and then FOMO kicked in and the other buyers came in. So all three metals. The point is not, oh, you know, this is a spring or whatever. The point is, all three metals are bullish. Silver is bullish. It's in an uptrend. Platinum is bullish. Uptrend. Gold is bullish. In an uptrend. And none of them have touched their targets. None of them have touched their targets. So, th this complex is currently in markup. And that's valuable. Because when all of them are bullish, like that complex is bullish precious metals, and it's in markup, you can start buying pullbacks. And uh, they become high probability trades. It's not a one-off thing. It's, you know, there's no commodity group. Like, no, you know, in the stocks you have, like, uh, the semiconductors or whatever. Now, those industry groups are made up of stocks. So if there was a precious metals uh, index, it would be made up of gold, silver, platinum, and maybe any, anything else out there but in any case you see that the prices are all bullish and that's really important for the uh, precious metals thanks